What are we waiting for? Take this! We've been pushing pretty hard. I think once you get in there, the animal will come out and it's gonna be good night, Stevie. I've been doing what can I, mate. I'm pretty passive most of the time we get me in there. We'll be 23 years of anger pent up coming out on that poor bastard's face. Pick him up! Pick him up! I didn't come into this event for uh, mucking around. It's uh, me and Andy in the ring, 700 people watching. I'll put on a show for them tonight. I'll take what comes at me. Hopefully he'll tire by the third round and that's when I'll start going to work. I think I've got a bit more fitness on him, but his strength is um, pretty incredible, to be honest. He's a strong boy here. 47. Yeah, 47. 48. I can see myself in the ring with a hand up. It's all on, ready to go. I've got the youth, I've got the power, I've got the desire to win. There's no mucking around. First round, see you on the ground, mate. All sorts has gone through my mind. My main focus is not getting beaten in front of my wife, but my main goal is to not let T and Steve down. I've got, got the ability, I've got the skills, got the tools, and I'm ready for tonight. Andy, when I first signed up for Contender, I wanted a fight, a hard fight. And I know when I fight you tonight in the ring, it's gonna be bloody hard, mate. I wish you all the best, but on the end of the night, it's gonna be one winner, mate, and it's gonna be me. Steve, I know you've been training hard, but I've been training hard. I've got the desire to win. I've got the sporting background. I've got the power. I've got the youth. I've got the will to come and take you down, mate. Good night, English Rose. See you in the ring. Our principal, especially from the red corner, he's 23 years of age. He hails from Auckland. He weighed in at even 80 kilos. Dropping four kilos for this fight. You're not recording it. He's a Les Mills trainer. He is the impaler, Andy Rogers. <laughs> and his opponent in the blue corner is 31 years of age. Hails from Crewe in England, fighting out of the Hobsonville Club in Auckland. He weighed in at 81 kilos, dropping five kgs for this fight. He is the father of two, and once again, the pride of the Royal New Zealand Air Force. He is Steve Lightning The referee for this fight is Rich Williams. Sponsored by the original print media. The best of three two minute rounds. Text 933 for Andy. Well, here we are underway, our fourth bout of the evening. These boys have got a lot to live up to. Andy Rogers, he's a personal trainer at Lears Mills. He's the more stockily built of the two in the red corner up against Steve Lightning Rodwell. Fighting for England, the 31 year old. Oh, and immediately we see we've got a southpaw in the house. Andy Rogers is a left hander, which means his uh, jab is his right hand and his power hand is his left hand. And he looks immediately quite adept at slipping the right hand. And we expect him to be a very powerful kind of fighter with a New Zealand representative Olympic weightlifting background, so expect some explosiveness. What will be interesting to see is how he's got the muscle recovery into the deep rounds. Slipping very well to the body, coming back with nice combinations to the head. Little straight left hand there. And again, slipping nicely and coming back with the right hand. Tony, I'm impressed with the way he's, or uh, well, both boys are actually keeping their gloves up at this point. It's a slightly more skilled fight than we've seen so far. It is a lot more technical than we've seen in the past, but um, they, that doesn't mean that they haven't got the power as well. Both guys really oh. letting go. Geez, you can see, I mean, he's, he's really swinging with some speed there as well. It's not just uh, big swings, it's speed and power. Looks like he's got a left hand and a right hook. It's always good when you get a couple of fighters with contrasting styles as well. And that's what we've got out here. We've got the, the shorter fighter trying to get underneath. 
And uh, he does it well too, he, you know, digging with the left hand to the body, coming upstairs with the right hook. Slipped a lot of punches early in the fight. Yeah, and, and again, just parrying away the lead hand, parrying away the jab with his own right hand. At the same time, Rodwell keeping that composure. Well, he's moving well too. You'll notice that he's... Oh, nice little set of combinations there. Kept his foot on the outside. Yeah. His left leg on the outside of the southpaw, so going away from his power. Cut that, cut that escape route off brilliantly. Which is, which is why... Rogers is going for the right hook so much because he can't get a, a straight left hand on. Again, he lands a nice right hand there. Just tipping over the gloves. Nice even round. Hard to score. Ready to go to battle in the second round after what I thought was a pretty even one in round number one. Well, interesting too, if you note that uh, Dylan's in... Andy Rogers' corner, of course, he was New Zealand light heavyweight champion. He's a southpaw himself, so you couldn't find a better man to teach a left-handed fighter. And he just slips nicely, ghosts out of range. And notice now, he's starting to actually circle to his left to try and draw his man in. And we saw it there, slipping the right hand. But now, my gosh, Rockwell starting off strong. Got to be careful he doesn't walk into anything, and he did just then. He walked into a left hook, which has got him back on his bike. Started off very strong, threw caution to the wind. Had the better of that exchange, but oh, you can hear the punches ringside here. You can hear the power. There's an of awful Rogers lot of shot. power, and, and you know what I think, Mike? I think it's the guy who makes the mistakes will lose this fight because they're both. Oh, nice a lot straight of skill. left hand there. Good run, right hook, left hand. Too close now. Rodwell nicely tying up. He really had to do that because he was right on the end of some big shots there. Three or four big shots. Just Roger needs to actually set up a little bit more at this point. He's playing a nice little counter fight game, counting with the right hook there. Got buttoned on his own now. Now we'll see the quality of the iron in his chin. Oops. <laughs> 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 He's been lassoed by the ropes. Oh, well, that was... Uh, I'm not sure whether it was good luck, good management, or good sportsmanship. Well, good sportsmanship from Rogers. <laughs> I'm impressed with Steve Rodwell. Oh, oh, he got shot. Oh. KO power handed in the hands of Steve Lightning Rodwell. He landed the big shots earlier, and he's caught his man coming in. There's a turn up for the box. Exactly what I said. The man who makes oh, the mistake. He's wobbly on those legs. Wobbly on those. Oh, touching gloves. This is a corporate fight. Well, these referees got to keep a very close eye on this. The impaler really, had, he got impaled there twice, two or three times. And another big right hand is going to go. Referee's going to have to step in here. And it's been Why called off. calling a stop to it? Well, the Air Force boys once again standing aloft. Well, there's the turn up for the box. Andy Rogers, the more powerful of the two fighters, but Steve Rodwell showing the cleaner chin and landing a heavy right hand continuously against the southpaw. Sometimes you can just get a little bit too keen. <laughs> Well, it wasn't all one-way traffic, Mike. He had to survive a few big, big shots. Oh, he certainly did. And I mean, he talked about coming out strong in the third round when he thought he was going to make his move. But he rattled him. He rattled him with several shots, clean shots on the chin. And again, defense is a big part of this boxing game, particularly with these bigger boys. At this sort of weight, they're all over 85 kilos. Well, they can hit. When you get hit by that much weight, you generally go down if you're taking them on the chin. Well, you, you commented, you, we could hear the shots from up here. That was the power that was going in, and that was from both fighters. So, uh, real good Good to see uh, quick recovery over there in the red corner. I just have to say the quality of that bout, too, would have matched any uh, first-time amateur boxing bout. Very good showing by both boys. There goes those high flyers again. Oh, certainly they're, uh, they're two and oh tonight. I'm pretty certain the Air Force have made this a big part of their training regime. 
Yeah, and they're going to be taking on the, the Navy next month too, so that's going to be a, an interesting night as well. Oh, certainly, but uh, you've you got to say, I've been impressed with their conditioning, been impressed with their skills so far. Holy, holy moly. Tony Robb just admiring the scenery. Some lovely chandeliers on show here this evening at the Langham Hotel. <laughs> Got to say, let's not forget Andy Rogers. Uh, he put on a good show in that right, fight. Steve. Just a little bit caught out by inexperience, Mark, I think. Thanks a lot of guts to get in the ring. Many people talk the talk, Steve, walk the walk. 